fall in love with you, I walked into love with you. With my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step along the way. I do believe in fate and destiny, but I also believe we are only fated to do the things that we choose anyway. And I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I find you and I choose you. I promise to respect you as a whole person with your own interests, desires and needs and to realise that those are sometimes different but no less important than my own. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face change as we both change, keeping our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise to love you in good times and bad, with all I have to give and all that I am, in the only way I know how, completely and forever. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to nurture your dreams and help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you no matter what challenges that come our way. I promise to love you loyally, madly, fiercely as long as I shall live. I love you always and forever. Can't wait to spend my life with you. You are my cheese to my chips. <laughs> Celebrating my oldest daughter's wedding. <laughs> Rebecca, you made us laugh oh, over the years. And I must admit, and I see you heard it today, when Rebecca laughs, the whole world laughs, don't they? In Australia, I can always remember finding me. So it's, it's, she's just going to work, it's evening time for us, and she's in pieces on the phone again. She's doing this job where she gets commission based. And she says, oh, I'm rubbish. Kirsty, Kirsty was brilliant at it. I don't think that helped. <laughs> I'd let everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she was going, she was crying on the phone. I feel sick, Dad, I don't want to do this. I can't do it. I feel such a failure. But that's when I said to her, this is where I get upset. That's when I said to her, Rebecca, I can rip them L plates off my back now. I says, I'm so proud of you. Look at that. From the little baby looking at the light in the world, now exploring the world. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Remember that? It was exactly 1,330 days since Michael stood up in front of a room of people giving his best man speech at my wedding. I certainly didn't imagine for one minute he would have found someone daft enough to marry him in a lifetime, <laughs> let alone in 1,330 days. But as they say, miracles do happen, and here we are. <laughs> In that time, Michael has found his soulmate, he's bought his own home and started a journey and a great career. And as a big brother, I cannot be prouder of him. Oh, and it's grown its roots under
Every single one of my family has taught me what love is, and that is why I know this beautiful woman next to me here is the one I want to be for the rest of my life. Mine and Becky's family has got bigger by bringing the How and the Inglebys together and creating one big family and we couldn't be happier about having all of you with us. <laughs> However, there is a lot more Inglebys than there is Howes. <laughs> I'm starting to guess you're all getting bored of me speaking, so I swiftly move on to the most important in the room, as I've already said, which is the lovely lady on my left. Mrs. Yeah. Miss Rebecca Howe. Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> oh, oh. It says it right in front of me and I got it wrong. Mrs. Rebecca Howe then, shall we? <laughs> You're the most amazing, caring and beautiful person I've ever known. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. We have an amazing future together. The first time I saw you, I was so intrigued. And the more we got to know each other, the more I fell deeper. And my love, my love for you gets stronger every day. It has no limits. I must admit, you look absolutely amazing tonight. So to end this speech, I would like us all to stand up and raise a toast to my beautiful wife, <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> and this is all when we all get absolutely fucked. <laughs> be easy I'll be there when you need